Oh my goodness, Fridays around here mean a little shoe cam. And I know you've seen this precious little face on our show today. That is the son of our show sponsor, Mattress Direct. That is CEO Pat McCurran's son. And look at that sweet face. I mean, I, did, the he, best, aren't did they? he love when you bought these shoes? He was super surprised that I got his mom a pair that match. And so she that was surprised to get them also. <laughs> <laughs> that is adorable. Well, we love when you come on the show. Yeah. Again, this next segment has been sponsored by Mattress Direct. Joining us now is CEO yeah. Pat McCurran. And then we have another special guest here with us today. And did you know that one in every 44 children are diagnosed with autism? And here to raise awareness is the lovely Liz Gunlack. Thanks so much for being here with us, Liz. Hi, thank, thank you. you. Of course. I mean, tell us about how you guys met. Well, I met Liz through United Services, mm -hmm. where both of our kids were classmates. Hi, Miss Linda. <laughs> Hi, Miss Linda. <laughs> Uh, but they, they're such a wonderful organization and mm -hmm. to help raise awareness yeah. and funds to help the kids. Liz is doing something that I couldn't do and I'm not <laughs> sure you can do it no, either. So. <laughs> Liz, what are you doing? I'm going to be running 44 miles wow. on Sunday. What is the significance of that number 44? Because one in 44 children mm -hmm. are diagnosed with autism. I wanted to make that number important and special, so I chose 44 miles. Nice, and you are raising funds for United Services for Children. Tell me more about that organization. My, both of my sons have been able to go there. I have one son who is a little bit more severe, so mm -hmm. he's been able to receive services since he was the age of two mm -hmm. um, through early childhood and then continued on with occupational therapy, mm -hmm. water therapy, speech and language. My second son was diagnosed a little later on and he's been able to receive services for occupational therapy as well. That is awesome. I mean, how has that made a difference for you as a parent? With my older son, especially, we were given our son back mm -hmm. because my son, when he first um, pretty much presented with signs of autism. He was lost in himself. We lost a lot of skills. With United Services, his skills reemerged and just he grew from there. Yeah, so we got awesome. our son back. It's life changing, not just mm -hmm. for the kids, but for the families too. Mm -hmm. And like Liz is maybe not the best example because she's out here helping United mm -hmm. Services also, mm -hmm. but there are so many families that when you see that uh, first sign and that doctor gives that first recommendation, mm -hmm. I, you can speak to your experience, but mine was, what do we do now? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. given us a roadmap and given us a pathway and like uh, Liz's son and Connor were in class together and like we had a lot of the exact same experiences and like not the same services because mm -hmm. everyone is different. Mm -hmm. And that's really why it uh, is so important that we have like an organization like this that does such good work in helping not just the children, but also the families yeah. around the children yeah. and the siblings too. Well, I just appreciate you guys coming on here and talking about this as yeah. well because so many parents don't know about United Services for Children. And so that's what this is all about, raising awareness. And Pat, you even have a special pillow yeah. for so, so just try to wrap your mind around this. Like I have friends who run marathons and I think I could never do this. I can Liz barely is, run a mile. Uh, Liz is going to run 44 miles on wow. Sunday. And so like everyone is invited both to come out and cheer her on with us, but also you can donate to the cause. United Services gets those funds. It's 44miles.org and it is such a good organization. But one in 44 children is diagnosed with autism. Mm -hmm. And so the first 43 miles are for all the children who aren't mm -hmm. and the hardest one is going to be for the one that is. Yeah. And so before you go out and try to run 44 miles, I wanted to make sure you got a good night's rest. And so like, I'm the mattress guy and the pillow guy. And so I brought you. Of course, I, I, dropped, these, I went and dropped the pillow. These stools are really high. I'm sorry. So we're going to give Liz her very own zero pillow that fits. Oh, I love so it. So this is just as important for Friday night and Saturday night before you run Sunday as it is for Sunday night as you go to rest and relax ahead of time and then recover afterwards. Thank you. Well, thank you so much thank for being here so with much. us. We are rooting for you thank this you. weekend in St. Louis. You can root for her as well and continue to give back. It is 44 miles for the 44th child. You can learn more about it online at 44miles.org. She's running this weekend, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., 44 miles. Girl, we are rooting for you. She's got to do it. <laughs> She's got to do it. She's going to finish off 44 miles, too. And St. Louis, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick break.